Scorpio, I'm Ellie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope for the 20th to the 26th of August. So we're now waving goodbye to Mercury Retrograde, that ended at the end of last week and even though the energy is still tapering off a little bit, we are now out of Mercury Retrograde season. So hopefully there were some lessons that you learned from that, in particular um, how to view your life and perhaps how to pick out what things might need improving. And actually we've got Virgo season starting this week and that's going to really help you to put those lessons that you learn in Mercury Retrograde into practice. So Virgo season will help you to distinguish um, what is good in your life and um, any of the things that you might have picked out like any um, mindsets, any habits, anything like that that might have affected you during Mercury Retrograde period and you're now going to have the energy and the kind of um, powers of analysis to be able to sort out what you want to stay in your life, what you want to go and then have the strength to actually um, get rid of the stuff that you don't want, bring in more of the stuff that you do want. So this is a really good time for transformation and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable in you know because you are sifting through things but it's actually a really good time to bring in yeah more of what you want and get rid of the stuff that you don't want and to improve your life and to view it in a way that you want to have your life so you've probably noticed that I'm indoors right now and I am still in Thailand but it's the rainy season so there's going to be some weeks where I can't record outside and I can't give you these like beautiful exotic backdrops but what I am going to do is I'm going to pick a tarot card for you just to give you um, a little bit extra to focus on for the week. So here I have got the Thoth Tarot um, it's one of my favourites because it's very astrological so let's pick a card for Scorpio. Right, a card for Scorpio. What have we got going on? Okay, oh, this is a nice one. Ten of Coins. This is called Wealth. Now, before you go, oh my god, we're going to win the lottery. It doesn't necessarily mean that, um, although it might. Uh, it basically means you're you're kind of getting um, very grounded. You're getting try, you're very focused on your finances at the moment. Perhaps um, you've been worried about them quite a lot recently, and now you want to knuckle down and sort them out. And this is a very positive omen for that. So anything um, in the material world. Uh, that you take on this week should be very beneficial. So if that is sorting out your finances or maybe it might be um, even tidying your house or um, embarking on a new project, uh, starting a new job, um, looking for a job, anything that's uh, very material to do with your status, to do with what you earn um, and actually to do with your self-worth as well, that ties into it a lot. So if you've been feeling like perhaps your self-worth has been lacking a little bit, this card is to remind you that you already have everything that you need and if you want more then all you have to do is focus on what you already have done, what you already have got, sorry, um, and to be grateful for it. So actually that's kind of how manifestation works, if you know much about that, is um, being grateful for what you have got so that the universe senses that you're happy and that that's what you want and then it gives you more of the same. Whereas if you're constantly focusing on what you don't have all the time, then you will tend to get and attract more of the same, which is lack. So this is all a, this is a card of abundance, of material abundance. So look out for um, any opportunities to bring in more material abundance, and also be grateful for what you do have. You know, if you've got a roof over your head, you've got a job, you've got friends, you've got you know. Um, like enough money to, to have dinner and like this kind of stuff. These are all things to be really grateful for and that gratitude will then bring in more abundance. So yeah, lovely card for this week. Okay, so if you like this reading, don't forget to pop in next week and check that one out and have a lovely week, Scorpio. Much love.